Hello, and welcome to Potty Office with Blake. That's me. So, a lot of people are scared of this virus, and rightfully so. It's kind of scary. Uh, but for some reason, people are buying a lot of toilet paper, like a lot. And um, two of those people are Mr. Steve and Mr. Tommy. They keep stealing all the toilet paper here in the office and taking it. I don't know where they're taking it or what they're using it for. Well, I, I know what they're using it for, but um, but I don't, I don't like it. We need. We need toilet paper, right? Uh, so I brought my office to the bathroom. Why would I do that? Simple, because that's where the toilet paper is. So I've set up my little office here and I'm guarding all the toilet paper so no one can take it. So. Until this virus ends, I'll be here in my office with all the toilet paper. <laughs> but while I've been in here, I've seen that a lot of videos have been going around, uh, which is really cool. Um, this has happened before. There have been times uh, in history where sicknesses hit a lot of people, and um, it, it scares a lot of people. But Christians have been known in the past to step up. Christians have been known in the past to step up when things get really scary. And that's something that we can do uh, right now. A lot of people are scared. Uh, a lot of people are taking toilet paper. And we can be there as Christians to show them that, uh, that, it's, that it's going to be okay. You don't have to take all the toilet paper. Anyway, but um, there have been a lot of cool videos going around, but we wanted a few that were for you guys because um, you guys need videos too. First off, let's take a little tour of my office because it's it's pretty awesome. Um, and it will take a while. Uh, so I have a quote here from Craig Rogers. I have some my pets down here that Nora made me. My trophies. You know, no big deal, but got some trophies. Uh, my pens. Clorox wipes, they're pretty important right now because they get rid of germs. I have my phone. I have a sign that has my name on it that Hayden made me. Uh, my billboard has a map on it by my friend Brad, who made it. Really cool guy. Some pictures, calendar, my lamp, and the toilet. You never know. So some of you are stuck at home, and uh, you don't have a lot to do. We've been here at the office all week, and it's been it's been kind of lonely without you guys. And maybe some of you feel that way too. You're at home, and you don't have all your friends around, and maybe it's kind of lonely for you. And that's okay. Uh, a lot of people are going through that right now. But there's one thing that you can do. You can choose to fill the space around you with beauty. Um, as soon as I decided I need to go and take my office to the bathroom, um, when I got in the bathrooms, they were kind of dull. There wasn't anything in here. It was kind of lame. And... That's no fun. Uh, so I decided to make the space around me filled with beauty, filled with the things that I like. You can choose to fill the space around you with beauty and joy. This is actually uh, something that Paul writes about. So Paul was the guy who, who was walking down the road to Damascus and he was blinded uh, because he was being mean to Christians. And he's given this mission to go 
tell people about Jesus. So um, he spends his whole life doing just that, is telling people about Jesus. Uh, but a lot of people didn't like that. So he got thrown in jail sometimes. And um, he probably felt alone. He probably felt sad at times. But I also know that he was filled with a lot of joy. And that sounds kind of weird to us because how can somebody be alone in jail for doing good and then be filled with joy? So you and your family go to Philippians chapter 4 verses and read verses 11, 12, and 13 together. Ready, go. All right, so Paul is writing a letter to a church in Philippi, and he says that he's in jail. And, and you read that at first, and you're like, ooh, that's not good. But the whole letter is filled with joy. He encourages them to be filled with joy, too. And um, he says that, I know not everything is going to be great. Things are going to happen that you can't control. And um, that's kind of what's going on right now. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on around us that we just can't control. We don't know why it's happening, but I think this this letter is important to us right now. This is Paul. He says, "I've learned that in everything I do, that that it, it doesn't matter what I have. Uh, if I have a bunch of things, if I don't have a bunch of things, if I, I feel." Um, really happy or, or things happen to me that make me feel sad. He says, no matter what, I know that I serve a God who's there with me. He says, I can make it through. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can, even if I'm in a terrible situation, um, things around me aren't fulfilling uh, very good. Uh, I'm sad. He says, no matter what's happening, I've learned to put my trust in Jesus and to trust God and know that, that he's there with me. If he's there with me, I can make it through anything. And this whole letter is filled with that mindset where he says um, that you should have joy. And when we think of joy, sometimes we just think of some person who's running around singing songs all the time, um, which is cool. You can do that. Um, but that's not what joy is all the time. Joy can look different for different people in different circumstances. So uh, he's saying that that not not that you have to be filled with joy and that wherever you go, you're singing songs or uh, just happy all the time. But he's saying wherever you go, uh, that you feel the space around you with joy. Um, you know people who are who are filled with joy that. No matter what happens to them, uh, they they know that that they have a God who's there with them, right? And that joy just spreads out everywhere that they go. And that's what the letter of Philippians is about. So, what can you do to fill the space around you with joy and beauty? Maybe you thought of something. Maybe you don't know something yet, and that's okay. Uh, here's a couple of things you could do. Um, you're probably stuck at home, and you're not allowed to go many places, uh, but that's okay. What you can do is fill the space around you with joy. How can you let the people around you, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your dog, even your cat, how can you let the people around you know that you love them. One way to do that is to write cards. You can write some encouragement cards to people. Actually, I'm going to write one right now to Mr. Tony.
Maybe you can write a card to somebody. Uh, maybe you don't have a stack of encouragement cards laying around. That's okay. Uh, just get some paper, maybe, and some pencils or crowns or markers, and you can draw somebody a card. Um, I'm going to draw a card to Mr. Steve. How can you add beauty to the space around you and let the people around you know that you love them and care for them? Do something today, tomorrow, for the people around you. And we will see you next time.